Let's have a look on pressure mapping. Pressure mapping defines how the pressure applied on your tablet is transferred onto the canvas of your drawing application. It has two transfer styles, linear and Bezier. Let's start with linear transfer. The graph resembles the pressure that your tablet produces. The dots and the line resemble how this pressure is manipulated. When drawing a line, for example, starting with zero pressure, traveling to 100%, then falling back to zero. Let's see what happens when we move this dot over here. Starting with zero pressure, traveling to 100%, then falling back to zero. This stroke looks different because the transfer function manipulated the pressure values. In this case, starting with zero pressure, holding until pressure input reaches 50%, now building up, now falling back to zero until 50% pressure input is reached. Here's another case. Let's reverse the pressure. Now 100% pressure is mapped to 0% pressure input and vice versa. Let's see how this travels. Okay, I hope you have a better understanding of the linear transfer style now. Let's move on to Bézier transfer style. In this view, you have two floating points with handles. You can drag those around and grab the points, anchors or handles. Point 1 is where the pressure input of 0% is mapped to and point 2 is where 100% input is mapped to. When using Bézier transfer style, you'll probably notice the little dots on the connecting line between the two points. These dots resemble the steps in which the pressure will be mapped. If they are closer on the bottom, like so, the line will grow slower. And if they are closer around point 2, the line will grow faster. Now here's the crazy one. Or you can do stuff like this. As you can see, the pressure transfer functions are pretty mighty and you can shape your strokes when using a pressure sensitive brush. Thanks for watching.